Hey beautiful people, it is Maggie Liz and today I'm going to be doing a QA. and a I have some questions written down here. Well, they're not actually written on there, they're just on my phone. But, <laughs> I'm going to be answering these questions. They're a lot more like kind of in detail, not like really like silly questions that I know of. I've only read like the first like two questions. So let's just get right on to this. Uh, do apps help you or just waste your time? I feel like... It depends on what apps. I know a lot of apps do kind of help me in a way. Like, they help me, like, keep in contact with not only family members, but I have a lot of friends that I've met through the internet, and that's how I keep in contact with them. So, personally, they help me. Some people might not think the same. Do you keep a diary or journal? No, the last time I kept a diary or a journal of any sort, I was 14, which I actually still have and is very... <laughs> Cringy, oh my god. Uh, should schools offer cash bonuses for good test scores? I feel like yes, because I feel like if they do, it would push students to do better and get better grades, even though they're doing it kind of for the wrong reasons. But it would definitely help, because they would have no other choice but to learn the shit so they can get money. <laughs> um, would you like to take a class online? I've thought about enrolling in, like, community college or some kind of college online. Haven't been able to do it yet because my schedule is hectic as hell. Uh, but I would love to at some point, definitely. Should the students be required to take drug tests? Definitely. Because uh, if you're on, on drugs while you're still in school, whether it's high school or college, definitely. Either way, you should. How do you use Facebook? Um, I mainly just use it to share memes and uh, contact like my coworkers because I don't have all their numbers. Actually, I only have my boss's number, so um, <laughs> but that's kind of how I keep in contact with like my coworkers, my family, and I just share memes. So, so this one's a very controversial question. Do you trust your government? No. I do not whatsoever. The FBI agent, my phone, just, like, imagine, like, the Pikachu, like, shocked meme. That's probably what they look like right now. <laughs> uh, but no, I do not at all. Um, our government is very corrupt, obviously. Um, so no, I do not. <laughs> uh, don't come for me, it's just my own opinion. Uh, what are your favorite cartoons? Okay, this is kind of a sillier one, but I'm not much of a TV person, but if I were to watch, like, any cartoon, uh, like, more grown-up cartoon, probably, like, Family Guy, Bob's Burgers, um, and then, like, more child cartoon, I would say Amazing World Gumball or, like, Steven Universe. So, have you ever experienced sexual harassment? Yes. Um, I don't want to get into it, but I have by someone who I thought was very close to me. Turns out, no. Um, so, yes, I have. I have been sexually harassed before. Would you want to be homeschooled? I actually was for a few months, and then I just fully dropped out of school, and then went and got my GED. So, um, technically, yes, because I have before. <laughs> Should people be allowed to obscure, obscure their identities online? I'm assuming that means, like, hide their identities. And, yeah, like, it's their identity. If they don't want to share it, then they should not be forced to. Um, so, yeah, like, if they... Especially, like, if they're still trying to figure out themselves. Like, if they aren't sure if they are, tra like, transgender, if they're gender fluid, or, you know, anything minus what they were born as, then, yeah, like... 100% if they don't want to say a specific gender, then yeah, they should be able to, like, they should be okay to not say it. Which is more important, talent or hard work? That is a hard one. <laughs> um, I would probably say, I mean, they both kind of go hand in hand, though. Well, at least the hard work with the talent, because you have to put in a lot of hard work for your talent. Um, I guess hard work, though? I don't know. Like, that one, I don't really have a specific answer. It, it just depends on who you are as a person. 
What would you put in your emergency to go bag? Um, like a pair of extra clothes, um, maybe some like band aids, like some first aid stuff. I can't really think of anything else. Maybe like a spare charger. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Have you ever interacted with the police? Yes, once. I think I was like 15, maybe 16. I, I was 16. And this girl basically uh, threatened to come to my house and slit my throat. So, <laughs> which it's not like I return, like turned her in because I was scared of her. I kind of turned her in just because I'm like, hey, like, this bitch is crazy enough to do it. So if I end up dead, look at this person. <laughs> so, I didn't, like, to be honest, she was the person I was probably least scared of. But, and, like, her family kind of already had, like, a really bad, like, rap around the town for being, like, getting in trouble a lot. For just being kind of dangerous. So, who would you share your password with? Um, my password's kind of the same for a lot of my accounts, and really the only people that know them are my dad, my sister, and my best friend. The only reason why my sister and dad actually know it, though, well, there's a reason why they each know it, but my mom, my uh, dad and sister, because that used to be on my old laptop, the password to, like, get in, um... So that's why they knew it. <laughs> and then uh, my best friend, because we share, well, I have a Steam account. So she has a Steam account. There was a game that she had on there. And there was a game that I had on mine that we both wanted to play. So I just, like, we just gave it to each other. So <laughs> how should you handle the end of a friendship? Just walk away. Like, th they are going out of your life for a reason and you probably don't fucking need them and you're probably better off without them so just walk away don't even try to fix things i mean unless if it was like something stupid then yeah of course but i mean if like they did something really fucked up or the other way around just just walk away <laughs> all right um how much information is too much information it depends on who you're sharing it with. Um, if you're with a stranger, you probably should not talk about your sex life. But if you're with your best friend, then fuck it. <laughs> you guys are probably going to talk about it. So it really just depends on who you're around. Like, if you're around a stranger, probably shouldn't talk about that kind of stuff. But if you're around your best friend, then who fucking cares? So, like, I've shared probably more personal stuff with my best friend, but would I ever say it to a complete stranger? Hell no. <laughs> Alright, so this one's kind of a dumb one. Can kindness be become cool? It's always been cool. <laughs> like, people that say, oh, like, being kind is lame, like, no. Being an asshole is lame. <laughs> being an asshole is not cool. So just just be kind to everyone, especially because you don't know what those people could be going through. How do you feel about zoos? It depends. Like, there are some who treat their animals like fucking garbage, and those are not okay. But, like, a zoo very- kind of close to where I live, um, they treat their animals very well, so it just depends on how they're treated, I guess. Um... But, I don't know, like, I personally don't like zoos because I feel like animals should be in their natural habitat. They shouldn't be in cages. But to each their own, right? How productive and organized are you? Organized? Not at all. Um, productive, like, I will have random spurts of energy where I can, like, I'm super productive. Work, I'm extremely productive. Usually when I get home, though, or on my days off, I just prefer to relax and not do a goddamn fucking thing. Besides, like, game and watch YouTube. So, but sometimes on, like, my days off, or even after work, like, I'll have random spurts of energy, and I will just, like, I'll clean some of my room, or, like, clean my closet, or, like, help around the house. Doesn't happen often, but, <laughs> um... 
it just it just depends on the mood I'm in I guess organized though I'm never organized <laughs> like my room stays cleaned for like three days and then it's become becomes a mess again so what is the coolest thing you've ever seen in a museum um I saw an actual mummy like it was out of the tomb like it was in like this glass barrier and there was a mummy just right there I was I was pretty young I think I was like 10-ish maybe yeah I was roughly about 10 um it was in Kansas it was when I was visiting family um speaking of that if you have not seen my last video I actually vlogged going to Kansas visiting my family so you guys should totally check that out that will probably be um in the cards if I remember or if my thing decides to act correctly because for some reason like it won't let me add cards or anything anymore and I don't know why like it just says it's unable to I don't know um if not just go on to my video my um YouTube page and it'll be there so gotta get that free pub publicity <sighs> What would you do if you won the lottery? Uh, I'd probably splurge a little bit of it, and I'd probably save back a lot of it. And see, like, I'm one of those people that I like buying things for other people and not myself. But if I won the lottery, I'd definitely spend some on me, but I'd also spend some on, like, my family and stuff. So, <laughs> like, usually when I get paid, like, me and my sister will go out and eat. Like, we'll do things that have to do with me as well, but, like, I'll get some stuff for her kids and, you know, just because I like doing that. <laughs> um, like, the funny thing is, so, like, I car hop, if you do not know, at Sonic, and I always see if anyone else wants to car hop before I do because, one, I don't have bills to pay. Two, I don't need the money. <laughs> so I always make sure everybody else, like, does not want to do it before I do it. Unless if we're super busy, then I just go for it. Because I don't have time to see. <laughs> um, or time to wait around to see if, like, someone else does it. Um, so yeah, like, that's just kind of how it goes. Should couples live together before marriage? If they want to, then let them. Uh, but if you guys have been together for, like, a month, then it's probably not a good idea. Um, but yeah, like, if they've been together for, like, a year or so, and they have not been gotten married yet, then yeah, go on ahead. I mean, fuck it. And actually, another thing, um, like, even if, well, like, if they move in, like, before they get married, if anything, that might be a good thing, because they can see if they can even fucking live together before they commit to anything. <laughs> so... If anything, that actually might be a good idea, so. Alright, so last one. I kind of already answered this one, but it says, do you have a job? Yes, I car hop, but I actually am cross-trained in the kitchen as well. Weirdly enough, even though I, I'm not in the kitchen, like, almost ever, I actually prefer being back there, which I know is weird. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I'm cross-trained in both, and as a car hop, we don't just, like, run out orders and that's it. We also make ice cream, make shakes, um, do drive through make drinks, um, stock everything. Like, there's a lot to it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I guess in a way, kind of do a little bit of everything in the store. So, like, I'm even learning how to do, like, temp logs, which is something that usually managers do. But one of my managers is actually teaching me how to do it. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I said that was the last one. But this is actually the last one. Um, what's your comfort food? 100% Chinese food. Like, if I'm ever feeling any kind of emotion, Chinese food is, like, my number one option. Maybe even Thai food. Because we do have a Thai restaurant. Like, like driving distance is probably, like, four minutes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, either Chinese or Thai food. But that is it, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up, smash that like button, comment for suggestions on upcoming videos, because I would totally love to take your suggestions. All my social media will be down in the description. My Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitch, and TikTok will all be down there. And as always, guys, I love each and every single one of you. Stay lit, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.